welcome back from our commercial break. John. Yes? It's time to solve our word puzzle. I'm ready, Brandon. Let's hear it. Oh, the say and say slaw. No, the what? The say and say slaw, it's my favorite barbecue restaurant. Incorrect. Oh, uh, the CNC stew. Still no. The, oh, uh, the sh and sh show? No. Okay, uh, the sue and sue and spew. I'm gonna give you a hint. There is a vowel in it, and it's not A, E, I, or U. Sometimes Y. Oh. The science I oh. sly. No! It's an O. There's an O. Oh! Yes. Okay, so the so and so snow. That's my favorite weather. So close. Don't rush it. Oh, right! The so and so slow. No. The sh and sh show. So close. So just combine the last two. Oh, the sh show. No! Okay, I don't know. Brandon, you should have just picked an easier puzzle because we're running out of time here. We gotta start the show. What show? What show? What show? What show? Yes! The so-and-so show! <laughs> I did it! I did it! Yay me! Yay me! <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm Brandon and this gentleman next to me is John. That's right, Brandon, and tell them what they've won. Um, uh, I... And now a word from our sponsor. What are you doing? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I, you know what, I just think I'd like to be a game show host. Oh. So you think you can be a game show host? Yeah, that's what I just said. Yeah, I think I have a lot of really great qualities that a game show host needs. Oh, well then let's find out on my new game show. Wait, you have a game show? I do. Welcome back to So You Think You Can Be a Game Show Host, where we, and by we I mean me, Brandon, scour the world for the next great game show host. If you don't have what it takes, Brandon will press his red button of rejection to send you on your merry way. Let's meet our next contestant. Thank you for being here. What's your name? Um, um, John. Oh, not too catchy a name. It's just my name. All right. Well, you know how this works. You get to show us what you got until I press the red button of rejection. <laughs> uh, uh, that sure is a lot of power for that little button. Yes, it is. Are you ready? Let's do it. Uh-oh. Hello everyone, I'm so glad to have you here today. I hope you're having a good day, are ya? I sure am. Why, just on the way here, I s What, already? That's too much exposition, just a quick hello and get on with the game. Give it another try. Yeah. Hello everyone, I'm your host, John, and welcome to- You need something crazier. Give me a, a crazy voice. Uh, uh, okay, I'm good. Hello everyone and welcome, it's time to play. Have you got a zany jacket? Yeah. It's time to come on down, you can be the next contestant on the- No one says the word contestant anymore. Try again, lose the jacket and try a mustache. Welcome! <laughs> Just, I don't know, try something else. And up next we have... Survey says... Survey says... Survey says... You are the weakest link. Is that your final answer? I... You... No, no, I... No, don't... No, no, I... No, 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 Brandon! 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 I haven't even said anything yet. You're not even giving me a chance. It's... It's by... It's Bible story time. It's Bible. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Oh. What's up, gents? Just trying to be a game show host. Oh, I always thought that would be fun. Let me try, let me try. You can keep the $100,000 or... Go for more. 
Sorry. Do you have a story for us today? I sure do, and I'd love to have your help to tell it. Absolutely. Great. Then let's get ready for another edition of Human Head Puppet Theater. Our story today is from a book in the Old Testament called 1 Samuel. One of the people in this story is the very first king of Israel, King Saul. And there's this other famous guy that you might have heard of in this story as well, David. Now, remember David. He was the shepherd boy who killed the giant Goliath. Well, after that, David grew very popular in Israel, more popular than King Saul even. And this made Saul really, really jealous. So jealous that he wanted to hurt David. And this is where the story picks up today. What's that? Where's David? In the desert of En Gedi. Let's find David! Yeah! And kill him! Go! Right behind you! Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have had that second burrito. Ooh. Ow. Just a minute! I should really step into this cave to relieve myself. Ooh. Ooh. Yep, even kings have to use the bathroom. Saul stopped in a cave to, well, do his business, but little did Saul know that David and his men were hiding in that very same cave. Is that King Saul? Oh yes, here we are. Is he? Shh. David, the Lord has given Saul over to you. Now is your chance to deal with him as you want. And by deal with him as you want, I mean. <sighs> it was true. Saul had been chasing David, trying to kill him. Pretty serious stuff. And now David had Saul all alone. It seemed like he could have put an end to all of his problems, but let's see what David did. <laughs> What's that? Must be a bat. Squeak, 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 squeak. They should call you Hagar the Hilarious. Yep, David didn't harm Saul. He had the opportunity, but he showed incredible self-control. David knew that harming Saul would have been wrong. And even though some of the men were encouraging him to kill Saul, he refused. Now, after telling his men that he should never lay a hand on the king, he found King Saul outside of the cave. Ooh, ooh wee Boy, does that feel better. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Killing David! <laughs> king Saul! Huh? This day, you have seen with your own eyes how the Lord handed you over to me in the cave. Some of my men begged me to kill you, but I didn't. Look at this piece of robe in my hand. <gasps> that looks familiar. I cut off the corner of your robe, but I didn't kill you. I won't do anything 
to hurt you. <laughs> David! <laughs> You've treated me well. Ah! And I've treated you badly. <laughs> the Lord handed me over to you. And you, you didn't kill me. Usually, when, when someone finds their enemy, they don't let them get away without harming them, but not you, David. May the Lord reward you with many good things because of how you treated me today. <laughs> Saul was incredibly moved by how David spared his life. And Saul later then told David that he knew that David would eventually become king. The end. David showed an incredible amount of self-control. Absolutely. It was life or death for David. And his very own men wanted David to harm Saul. But David thought about it, and he made the wise choice. Saul was right. After Saul had died, David became king of Israel. So everything worked out? Yes. Although David wasn't perfect, in fact, there were times David didn't choose self-control and that got him in a lot of trouble. But this time, David took the time to think before he acted, and it made all the difference. That's awesome. Hey, thanks, Kellen. We'll see you next time. Later. You know, I'm often reminded that having self-control can be hard. Oh, me too. Uh oh. 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 <sighs> oh, what? Oh. Woo. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, reveal the question. When have you had self-control? Yeah, have you uh, stopped yourself from yelling at your little sister because she destroyed a drawing you were working on? Mm -hmm. Or maybe you had self-control by waiting to play video games until after you finished your homework. Yeah, there are so many times to think before we act and show self-control. Absolutely. <laughs> I didn't think before I acted today and had no self-control with my button of power. <laughs> How many of those do you have? A lot, it doesn't matter. I'd like to try again to have self-control, if I may. Absolutely. Sure. Let's wrap this up first. Oh, sorry. That's all the time we have today, but don't worry, we'll see you next time on The, the So-and-So so -and -so Show! Okay. Okay. You do a game show, okay. your host, okay. and I will try okay. not to press this button. All right. Welcome to the brand new game show, Don't Press the Button. I'm Ted Feelbogger. <laughs> <laughs> Feelbogger? <laughs> okay, go. Hello everyone, I'm Fred Stinkle. Welcome to Don't Push That Red Button, the game where you cannot press that red button. Are you ready to show self-control, Brandon? Mm -hmm. You'll have five full seconds to not push that button. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Can you do it? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Starting now. Five, four, three, two, whoa, failure. Wow, you know what? Even with all this extra apparatus, your self-control is non-existent. Can you have anything to say to your crowd? Okay. Well, that's all the time we have today. Thanks for watching. Don't press the red button. I'm Fred Stinkle. Look at me, Brandon, look! <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs>